Welcome to Yankees Baseball, along with David Cohn. I'm Michael Kay. Well, the Yankees, it could have gone either way yesterday. It could have been a miserable Sunday, but they pulled it out at the end. They had two extra inning games, and David, they turned it into a great Sunday. Well, it really did. I mean, uh, if you think about where this day was going, it was going down the drain, and the Yankees had about an 0.2 chance of coming back. And, oh, yeah, you say there's a chance? Well, Aaron Hicks gave him a chance, and it's no some laughing matter if you're uh, Edwin Diaz and the Yankees bench is lit up. We're now tied and now Gio Rochelle on extra innings is going to come through in the clutch. Looping line drive right in front of Michael Conforto. The throws up the line just enough for Talkman to come rolling in with the win. And boy, if you think about this, Michael, what a comeback. The Yankee season has turned around in a matter of three swings. We just saw the first two. Here's the third swing, and it was the best one of them all. A 453-foot blast from Gary Sanchez, who desperately needed that hit. And you can tell by the look on his face, the Yankee team needed that hit. So what a turnaround of events. All right, well, let's check out the Volkswagen League leader. So with a three-game winning streak, the Yankees are now 19 and 13. They're two games behind the Rays in the loss column. So this is a battle for first place. The Blue Jays active at the trade deadline. They're very much alive as well. So this becomes a very big series with the Tampa Bay Rays. And David, the Yankees have always played well against the Rays. But not this year. They've lost six of seven, so this is big. It is big, and if you think about it, the last time these two teams got together, the roles were reversed. The Yankees were kind of rolling, and the Rays' offense was struggling, and then they got it going versus the Yankees. So if you're on the Yankees' side, it's payback time. You've got to show the Rays that you're back, and you're going to be in the thick of this. And the Yankees certainly feel good after Sunday, Michael. Starts on TikTok, and this is the lineup that's going to face that man, Garrett Cole. Randy Arazarena is the DH. He's going to lead off. Batting second, the right fielder, Brandon Lau. Now the Diaz at third base will hit third. Cleaning up the first baseman, G-Man Choi. Willie Adamas at shortstop, bats fifth. Batting sixth, second baseman, Joey Wendell. Manuel Margot in left field is going to bat seventh. Batting eighth, the center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. And Michael Perez will catch, and he is going to bat ninth. Well, Garrett Cole's ready to go. You can see, obviously, the 20-game win streak was snapped in his last start. But on the season, this will be number eight. And across the board, only eight walks. He has walked zero or one batter in five of those seven games started. You can look at the entire Yankee defense presented by Geico. You've got Talkman in left, Gardner's in center, Frazier over in right. Now, Aaron Hicks left the game yesterday, cramps in both calves, but they say he's fine, good to go, he can pinch hit today. Infield, Urshela, Mercer, LeMayu and Ford, that's third to first. Sanchez behind the plate, and Garrett Cole on the mound. It is brought to you by TikTok, it starts on TikTok. DJ LeMay with second base today leads off batting second the DH Luke Voigt. Mike Forge at first base hitting third. Cleaning up right fielder Clint Frazier. Gio Rochelle at third base bats fifth. Batting sixth, the left fielder Mike Talkman. Gary Sanchez will catch he'll bat seventh. Batting eighth, the playing shortstop Jordy Mercer. And Brett Gardner's in center field batting ninth. They're gonna face this guy. He's a tough customer, the big righty, Tyler Glass now to be his seventh start on the year. And the numbers that jump out of you are 48 in 28. And that is strikeouts in innings pitched. And it's pretty remarkable through six starts. That's a over 15 Ks per nine, 15.4, which is the most in the history of the modern history over your first six starts, second only to Kerry Wood. Kerry Wood had 15.2 strikeouts in 1998.